Caribbean as well, from Jamaica. So sorry, add this, add this brother here. So what we say to you, why are they becoming Muslim? Because they're understanding the true concept of who God Almighty is, which is best understood in the religion of Islam. One being, unlike his creation. So God, not a man. Jesus, not a man. Jesus was a man. All right. Yes. All right. So why is it that most of any scripture that actually comes out or illustrated so similar, yeah, but has the same type of meaning within it? I'll explain to you. So you look at even the Bible. Even the Bible speaks of one God. That's Jesus says in John 17, 3, For this is eternal life, that they may know you as the only true God, and whom you have sent, the messenger Jesus Christ. So even there, Jesus is saying there's only one true God, and I'm his messenger. You see that sign we got just behind the brother? The messenger, the message of Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. Can you see that sign? Peace be upon them. They were messengers of God who came for the purpose of bringing people back to worshiping God alone. There are literally the three main, main um, yeah. Abrahamic, yeah, Abrahamic faiths, yeah, 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 Abraham, Moses. There were there are literally the three main persons that was that focus when Jesus already had twelve disciples, yeah. But when you when when you, when you see that portrait. Yeah, not, not not all of them done done done, done as much as Moses, yeah. Abraham. Yeah. You but know what, what, I mean? what we're trying to invite to you later in, in the Caribbean, but people understand Jesus God. But the man did not say sorry, the man did not say he was God. The man said there is only one God and I'm his messenger. Yes. This makes sense, you see, because God is not a man. It's unlike his creation. Makes sense in the Bible in Hosea 11 9, in Numbers 23 19. God is not a man. The Bible testifies to this. So the Bible is a creator. So he's not like his creation. The moment we give God imagery. Okay, okay. So, yes. So he doesn't have. He doesn't have. He doesn't the, have a face. Right. Not like our face. He doesn't have a yeah, like. Have a yeah. It's unlike his creation. And he's not a spirit. He's not. A, he's, yes. Exactly. The God. You, God is indescribable. The Bible testifies to this. What we say is that that is the one creator worthy of worship. Right. And God, when He sends those messengers. They are people who are elevated individuals who give the message of worshipping God alone. He select the best, select of, the best of the rest, best of mankind, as the brother said. And they were just representatives. Precisely. Look, Jesus says that very word of himself, as I made in John 17, 3. One God, I am his messenger. The man don't say, I'm God with him. He didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he also that? says, I have only come for the lost sheep. Never come for the whole of my Yes, I know that. I, know I have that. only come for the lost sheep of the house of Jesus Israel. Lying? Well, that's the thing. No, 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 no. Because you know the thing about it. What I always say, what I always say in general, is that when it when it comes up to that scripture, I was cre created man in, in my own image. image. But yeah, let, let me, me explain this. Point. Because yeah. well, no, you explain it because there's a lot of misconception. Exactly. Because when it says our, what do you take from that our? In our image, what do you take from this? That means a, a cluster, a cluster of persons. You know I mean? in, in the original language, it's a royal we. So when the queen is talking and saying we, there's not more than one queen, is it? No. It's only the one. There's more than one. Yeah, a lot of Christians say, oh, Elohim. Elohim. But in the Bible, Moses is regarded as Elohim, but there's only one Moses. So you have to look in the context of the language it was written to the people it was addressing 2,000 years ago. Not by the English standard, what it is right. today. Change, change as it goes along in years. But this brother, he, he can articulate so when, yeah, the verse. Go yeah, on. another verse. So I think it's in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, we are referring to. Let us make man in our image. Yes, no, so no, no, no. The, the Hebrew word there for man is Adam. Right. So Adam is made in God's image as well. But you're not saying that Adam is God. Yeah, let me explain. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that slowly. I'll say yeah. it slowly so you understand. When it does make man, man, in that Genesis 1:26, the Hebrew word for man is Adam. So let's make Adam in our image. First of creation. First of creation, exactly. So, you, but no but Christian no says. Yeah, no plurality. Yes. So all there it. Is one person. Yeah, one Lord, one God. This is what Jesus relentlessly spoke about. Let me tell you a quick story. Mark chapter is my favorite one. 
Mark chapter 10, verse 17. A rich young man, he runs up to Jesus and he says to him, Good teacher, what must I do to get eternal life? Jesus says to him, Why are you call me good? There is no one good for only God except for God alone. So he's saying, don't give me this title of goodness. This is solely for God alone. I'm not worthy of this title. So hence, him rejecting being called good, giving that title to God alone, by default, this would make him not God. If I, three of us are standing here. If I was to say to us, you're the only good soccer player here. By default, it will exclude us. True? If I was you, my friend, you're the only good soccer player amongst us four. This would exclude us as being the only good well, soccer player. You it's only you. It to me as a personal basis, so you're actually telling me personally yeah. I'm the best soccer player here. Yeah, and you're the only one. Uh -huh. So this is why the analogy I'm, I'm saying to you. But it says that why you call me good? There is no one good except for only God alone. So if he's saying only God is good alone, that excludes, but excludes him yeah. by definition. He's being humble. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. And another one, check this one out. You know, not many people know this one. Matthew chapter 9, verse 3. The Jews, they observe Jesus forgives the sins of a paralytic man. And they look at each other and they say to each other, Jesus must think he is God. Because only God can forgive sins. Jesus reading their thoughts, saying, why do you think such evil things? Meaning you thinking that I'm thinking I'm God is an evil thought. Is that the Romans? Okay, Mark, Matthew chapter 9 verse 3. Yeah, but was that the Romans when he was, they were actually executed? No, this is this is the Jews. So what is to be? Another no. thing. This is another thing with Christians. We don't read the Bible. Because, <laughs> <laughs> but let the brother, let the brother. No, that's fine. Yeah. What we try to show that by even them, because what they're doing, the Jews, they're after Jesus. They want to kill Jesus. So they look for any reason to get rid of him. So when he forgives the sins, they think, oh, only God can forgive sins. So, but this man is forgiving sins, therefore the man is claiming to be God. But Jesus reads their mind and he says to them, why do you think such evil things? Meaning, you thinking that I am claiming to be God is an evil thought. So how can a man be God then? Okay, Matthew chapter 9 verse 3 onwards. So what we say to Jesus, so what, as Muslims, the Arabic word for God is Allah. The language Jesus spoke was a language called Aramaic. Aramaic and Hebrew, but his main language is Aramaic. The word for Allah or God in Aramaic is Allah. Allah in, in Hebrew is Elah. In Arabic is Allah. Arabic, Hebrew, Aramaic, these are what you call Semitic languages from the Middle East. They share the same cognates, the same vowels, consonants. So they are worship one God. This is the message of Moses, Deuteronomy 6, 4. Hear thou, O Israel, your Lord God, the Lord is one. This is what Jesus says in Mark 12, 28. Scribe says, teacher, what is the greatest of all commandments? Jesus says, hear thou, O Israel, your Lord God, the Lord is one. He didn't say, I'm, I'm with him. I'm also part of that God. Go on, brother, you say something. No, 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 no,
that bit. On the yes. Okay, on the but first they bow, and then that's exactly the method we pray. Then bef before we pray, we offer a mini wash. Yes. Yes. Purify ourselves. Purify ourselves. I work at the University of East London, and um, we have prayer rooms we are designated to um, anyone that wants to come again and have, have, a, have their prayers and everything set through. Yeah, so I actually I have a few Muslim friends, and I've actually seen how they actually actually pray. I yeah. think we're going off on a bit of a tangent. Yes. And I want to bring you back because. Whether you're a Muslim or a Christian, I want to ask you a question. Do you believe there's a heaven and do you believe there's a hell? Yes. So this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to call you away from the hellfire to heaven. Because there can only be one. Because your salvation is based on it. Your salvation if it is, it, is dependent on a book. This book first must claim to be from God. Second, it must have no contradiction or error because your salvation is based on it. And if you have two or three books and you have one is a perfect book, which one would you be more inclined to? Yeah, I would be more inclined to the original. The original. The original book. That everything there cannot be an original book. I'm saying if there's several books and say three, two of them have contradiction and one has no contradiction. Well, of course the one we all know. Right. So the only, out of all the books, the only book to, to say it's from God is from the Quran. The only book that has offered mankind a challenge to prove and said, if there's any, if this was not the word of God, you would find many contradictions, is the Quran. And it's a very bold challenge. That was challenge that was set 1400 years ago. Up to now, no one can find any contradiction in there. Because what it teaches you, it teaches you to be in line with the Creator. If you do anything, you go to Him. You don't have to go through a middleman. Right. Because all men, we are born equal and we're born weak. We're born to be disobedient. Of course. God knew this when He created us. So if He created us and knew we was going to be disobedient, He must leave a door where we can come back to Him. That's because the only thing He will not forgive if you associate partners with him, if you commit murder, thousands of murders, he will forgive you for repent. But you have to be sincere and try not to commit the crime again. But we are weak. Of course. So, like I wanted to allude to you before, the person that designed the mobile, mobile phone, what's required to design a mobile phone? You have to have an entity. This entity must have power, it must have knowledge, it must have will. All these things must be. And it must be independent, meaning it doesn't need anything to exist. Now, this person who designed your mobile phone, he just didn't give you the phone, he gave you a manual. Why did he give you the manual? So, your eyes have a purpose, your nose have a purpose, and everything about you individually has a purpose and has a design. So, you collectively must have a purpose. Oh, sorry, sister. That's a Christian one. No, this is Islam. The concept of God and the purpose. But in Islam, yeah. they really describe the Jesus in Islam. Yes, but no, because no, what we say about Jesus, we say that Jesus He's a messenger. He's not God. Okay, that's all right. Sorry, sister, before you go any further, um, I used to be a Christian for 60 years. It's okay. No, 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 you, you, you came to me, you came to me, and when you noticed this was something to do with Islam, you folded. If you are a, listen to me, if you are a godly person, and you believe in God, you will have godly behavior. You, co you agree? Uh, that's no, uh, that's, I do behavior, and we are Christian. And no, we, you can, no, you can be Christian, peace. yeah. I don't hurt you, that's the, just the paper. Yeah. I don't hurt you, but this is the paper. paper no, no, but what I'm saying, you are a Christian, and you have a right to believe you can be a Christian. His recognition, one supreme being, 
It's unlike his creation. It's unlike his creation. And that is we worship God, one God alone. This is what we invite people to. So that I've got diverted. So the person that gave you the, the manual, yeah, he gave you a guide. So God who created us, he must have a way of communicating with us. And this is what we say, he said messengers with books. In the Quran, if the Bible correctly, it says, Allah sent messengers and prophets to every nation. Not just to the Arabs, to every nation. But when he sent the prophets, he sent them with the book in their tongue that they might understand. No, no, it doesn't matter of translating. No, 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 if they speak a different language. Because God is going to judge us, and, and you can say on Judgment Day, well, I never took no message. So God is wise. So he sent messengers. But what he's done, but Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was sent for the whole because he's the last, and it's the last revelation. Jesus was only sent to his people, like Moses was sent to his people, and Abraham and Noah. Now there is other prophets that went around the world in the Quran, it doesn't explain them all. But the, no, sorry. I was just about to, this is, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but this is a religion for everybody. It's not just a religion for the brown man or for the black man or for the white man. Look, let me show you something. These two brothers are from your, your uh, background, from the, the Caribbean. That brother there, the English guy, he became Muslim four weeks ago, the one standing there. The English brother there, just there, ginger beard. He's been Muslim for about 30, 30, 40 years, I think. The one with the ginger beard. The guy with the white beard, well, yes. he's a Trinidadian. He's been a Muslim for over 20 years. So, uh, so what we're saying, look, it's everyone, different colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is God, because God says, it doesn't judge you by your color or your creed, but judges you by your piety and your goodness. So when Malcolm X went, you know Malcolm X? When he went to Saudi Arabia and he saw that eating from the same bowl That's what shook him. Shook him. When he saw a white man with the blue eyes and blonde hair eating in the same food bowl as the black person. They said, this is Islam. So we left that racist organization called Nations of Islam. Yeah, they're just like Hebrew Israelites as a Muslim version of it. They're just exclusive for black people. Whereas Allah is created all of us brown, black, white, no matter what you are. So he only judges you by your goodness. So this is a religion which is for everybody, you see. Ubiquitous, as they say in English, for everybody. So people are converting in masses. We do this type of thing regularly. We've got lots of, yes, brother. So we've got a lot of channels, alhamdulillah. And lots of people are becoming Muslim from all different backgrounds. It appeals to the heart. As I'm speaking to you, what are you feeling, brother? Tell me, that just what are you feeling as we're speaking? I'm actually feeling, I'm actually feeling at the inside. I'm getting, I'm getting that, that kind of knowledge to say does, does make more sense. Yeah, yeah. makes more sense. sense. Key word. If it makes more sense, and if you're sincere, you have to then be inclined to go to where it is. To, you, know, to, you know what? I would actually, I would actually sit down. You know what? Because you know when, when, you, when, you, when you're in your thoughts, I, I call it when you're in your thoughts. And you get and your thoughts make you reflect and look back at things. Yeah? Brother, stop. This is what made me become a Muslim. Because when I read the Quran, and it says Ikura, to read and recite, but to reflect and ponder. Yeah, yeah. And seek the evidence. So whatever I No, that's exactly what it is. That's what it's based on. You know what I mean? Knowledge and evidence. I'm like, you can, you can put it out on the table. It's just like any any education or anything. You can put it on the table, but if you don't read, true, yeah, and and and, 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 and understand, and if you don't understand, you get help understanding. Let me give you one more example of how Islam makes sense. If you sin, as the brother said, and you seek repentance for your actions to God, say, "Oh my Lord, forgive me, forgive me." God will forgive you. But in Christianity, they ever believe a man has to come to his creation and die for your sins. Does that make any sense to you? No, no, no. A man, Jesus... I know. That's the thing. That, that's the, see, that is where certain aspects get thrown off because... It's like this, brother. I'll make it simple as a Jamaican. You you're going to take out a bank account. Before you even open a bank account, you're in the overdraft. Because that's of written and sick. It don't make sense.
It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. So what Islam do, before we start talking about salvation, one thing Islam does, it smacks you, wakes up your brain to think. This is why we've been given the brain, not to follow Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or another man, because the Quran says, don't follow him. Seek your evidence. But if you find the evidence, you only have two choices. You either accept or you reject. But he's given you the ability to be a believer or non-believer. Religion cannot be based on you. So, what, what are they giving out there, bro? What's they give, what are they giving? When you enter the grave, your parents or family or sister cannot come into the grave with you. They will not, you are accountable for yourself. On that day, even in Christianity, you will not be able to talk. Oh, of course not. So, one of the criteria is that when you stand in front of Allah, He's going to ask you, did not people speak to you about Islam? Did the message not come to you? If you did not hear the it? message, you yes. understand. Huh? When you die, you don't go to death. On that day, you have a private test. God will test you on that day. But for someone who's heard the message and they rejected or they was too lazy, you go to hellfire. It's, it's very clear. Because what they say, what, they, what, they, what it means... Mama, you sorry, go, sorry. So what we say, this is what converted me or reverted me. If you embrace Islam and take the Shahada, whatever sin, whether it's small or big, is forgiven. If your, 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 your slate faith is clean, you become pure, so you become better than all the Muslims because now you start with a clean slate. There is sins that you have to go to somebody or whatever and ask for forgiveness from that person if you have sinned. But you are, you are like a virgin. If you should drop that tomorrow, you don't taste hellfire, it goes straight to heaven. You know what he, you know what he, what he means by this? Because you never knew the true concept of God, up until your so, yeah, but everything makes you said you use that key word sense. Everything making sense now. So once that once that makes sense, it's incumbent upon you to follow. You will not get punished in Islam for something you lack the knowledge or did not know. Yes. But once the knowledge comes to you and you have the knowledge, that is different. Even if we do a prayer or we make a mistake, you're not punished because it was unintentional. Because it would be unjust. That's why you see. If you're drunk or you're intoxicated or you're on drugs, you're not allowed to do prayer because you don't have consciousness. So that's why in the month of Ramadan, you cannot fast if you have any of these. When you're sober, because you have to know what you're doing. If you don't know, how can I charge you if you don't know what you're doing? You see, how, see how merciful Islam is? And God does not burden you. Yeah, for some refill for me. Yeah. You want some water, brother? You want some more water? Allah does not burden a soul more than what it can bear. What he puts on you is different from this guy. He knows what you can bear and what I can bear. Thank you. One thing about Islam, you see, if you embrace Islam, you don't follow him, you don't follow me. You have to seek the knowledge. Yeah, you follow yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, like you said previously. Yeah, like you said previously. Sorry. So what we say, my friend, is this is an opportunity. I know it's a lot of information. We're not asking you to become Muslim today, no, no, no. but if you consider, think, think, think Carefully, very oh, carefully, what we say. To actually, you know what I mean? It's actually to look into it. Excellent. Yeah, because, you know what I mean? There's always something, there's always a real truth out there. You True. Know I mean? And, and why are we super confident of that truth? Because we've given you the best concept of the Creator. Right. Unlike His creation. Let me put it in a nutshell. There's two things. Thank you. Zaka, yes. I like to be straight. There's objective truth and there's subjective truth. Subject, subjective truth what belongs to you. Everybody has their own feeling. That cannot be the criteria. We need something that is objective that applies to everybody. Which is external. Our knowledge is objective because it is not man, it comes from God. So that's our evidence, the Quran. Whatever we quote, it comes from the Quran, not from what we believe. Because you can have a difference, but what's explained to you? Like one man has seven, sister has seven different minds. <laughs> you understand? So we all have different minds. We all perceive things differently. You have two children, one is a bit quicker than the other one. You don't love one more than the other. So God is like this. He's calling you to the truth. He's saying, this is the truth. I'm telling you the truth. A 
as a Muslim, he cannot subscribe to God what we don't know. Only what he explained to us in the book, we affirm it. When he doesn't explain, we leave it alone, we don't say anything. Because we say, you must talk with knowledge. When the Christian says, oh, Jesus is God, where do we get the knowledge from? It's not in the scripture. The Trinity is not in the scripture. This came after the development. So it's an addition. If Jesus, if Jesus was to walk around now and you say, Jesus, he's going to carry on walking because that's not his name, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> you understand? So Islam ignites something. What was his name? Um, well, in, in Arabic, it's Isa. Isa. Yeah. Yes. But in, in the it's a regional Jesus. language. And Yeshua. They call Yeshua, 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 Yeshua yeah, yeah. and Esau as well. There's some variation. And where did Jehovah come from? Jehovah come from the tetragrammaton Yahweh. So the, there is because there is no J word. Yeah. So, but the actual word comes from Yahweh. So what they say is Jehovah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yah, yeah. Yahweh. So it's like a cognate of that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, whether you give the name Yahweh or Jehovah or Allah, God is one. Yeah. That was the prevailing names that they gave at that time, but it, was, it wasn't a... So many That's something you have to ask a Christian, because in Islam, it's very simple. Yeah, it's very it's simple. Now, these are some of the attributes. They're not the specific designated names. Like Yahweh means eternal. Okay, yeah. this, but for example, the word for God is in Aramaic, the language Jesus spoke is Allah. Yeah. In Hebrew, I've, I've, I've it's yeah. excellent. In Hebrew, it's Ilah. When Christ says in the cross, Ilah, Ilah, Mela Sabachthani, my Lord, my Lord, why have you forsaken me? In Aramaic. So, what? Stop there. So, what did he just say? Oh, in English, what did he just say? Who? So, if your God, how can you say forsaken? God forsaken, sir? So he's talking to someone higher me than him. Why are you forsaken me? This disqualified. Another thing in Hebrews, brother. Fantastic. In Hebrews, God says, I alone is immortal. So the question for any thinking person, what does the word immortal mean? No, that's eternal. Never dies. Never dies. Immortal means you are not subject to death. So the spirit leaves the body. So when you're immortal, because you can be immortal. Immortal or mortal? When you're immortal, you never die. Meaning, crucifixion and resurrection cannot apply to you. It only applies to someone who's mortal like me and you. So Jesus, it applies to you. So he's mortal, See, not immortal. Wait, let me ask you I, 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 me, this is all media, media related. Yeah. yeah. Where Westfield shopping centre is, which one is it? So it's up the, those flight of steps. This flight of steps. Oh, right, okay. Okay, then you veer right. I thought that was going into the, um, back into the train station. No, that's back that way. <laughs> okay. um, this one is media related. There was this black man, this is this black man, right? That um, came, came, came to earth. And the government tried to kill him when he was actually preaching the word and helping the sick, curing this and curing that. And um, they thought that this guy was a messenger of God, but they tried everything to destroy him. They even cut his heart out, and then he was, he, no, it's there, it's there. This guy that the, the government tried to get rid of, like the United States government, but he, he he came back to life. So they burnt him. He actually came back to life, and said, "Why, why are you, why are you people doing this to me when I'm just trying to spread the word?" They're more me like you know what I mean? Just, and I was like, I cannot speak on this because I've never seen. I haven't seen it. it, 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 it so what? I mean, we don't know what it, what his message was. What was he saying? Well, what, what, what exactly was? We need to be aware of all, all, all his full message. If I could have find it, it, it's there. It's there on the article. No, I'm going to go to Google later. Yeah, and then it just it's a black man. It's a black man, and he said, "Why are you people doing this to me?" Yeah. Why this is what humanity has come to. And I was like, wow. Before you go too far, you see in Islam, in every part of this thing, what, what Islam says, bring your evidence. So you, we have to research into this guy. Who is he? Now, with social media and what's going on, anybody can twist things to what they like. 
not, I'm not saying it's not true. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm, that. That's the thing. I, I, what I read is what, 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 what was, I haven't even looked into Look at COVID, properly. what happened. Yeah. How they had people pretending to be sick and whatnot. Right. So we have to be very cautious. Right. And check for ourselves. Of course. I'm not disputing that, as I said, we won't talk about that because we don't have knowledge of it. Yeah. Yeah. We, are, we can only talk from sure knowledge. Yes, yes, yes. You understand? Totally and somebody can come and play tricks, but unless you're there and see it. Yes. So we're just talking Islam. Keep it on, keep it on Islam. Definitely. As I said, this, as I said, the promise to you, we don't expect you to take the Shahada. We've got the message. It's time for you now to go away and reflect, reflect on it. Yes. Maybe you come back next week because the brother's here every Saturday. Every Saturday? I'll, I'll be away. Wait, wait, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting off the Canada just for my brother. Okay. Are you back? Are you coming back? Um, in a month's time. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be here. Listen, there's no rush. Yeah. It doesn't mean you have to go home and start script. No. There's certain things that might happen that might cause you to reflect. I will. I will. This is what, this is what I'm going to read on the train. Yeah. I mean, on the bus now. I'm definitely going to have a read of it on a month. But don't get, I, I, every time I get one of these, right, I actually re, I go through it and I read it. And then I sit down and I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? Good soul, good heart, good way of living. You know what I mean? That's how, that's how humanity is supposed to actually live. You know what I mean? But you don't get that. You don't get that anywhere because humans are are made to destroy their own selves. We don't humans, have yes, right humans are. That's correct. And you, you need one? Uh, a little bit more, actually, please. Just okay. over there. Hello, so I had to move in and look after the horse. And then I became a Muslim. And I used to go to the mosque. And I started to go. But when she wasn't wearing, I stopped praying. And I was at home. And one Friday, I didn't go to Jummah prayer. Because when I go, I'm one of the first one at the front. Yes. The brother didn't come. Trailer, trailer with a car park, knocking on my door. So me and my brother said, look at him, I said, no, you can't put him up. Come say, well, let's go the other day, I've been here sick. 30 years we have black church and nobody knock on this. They asked me, look, if you need to go to the hospital, they come and bring me food. Yeah. So they look at this, is the unity. But that's the thing, it, 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 it's the heart of man, it, it's the heart of the people. What makes it different is my mom. She used to say, there's men do your prayer, they'll come on. Because she likes to disappear to my prayer. We don't pray. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. We pray five times a day. You see, when we smile, we shake your hand, we give charity, that's a form of worship. Right. When we purify self, that's a sign of worship. You see, if I have a good intention, even if I don't carry it out, that's a sign of worship. Because you're judged and reward according to your intention. Yes. Your intention is the most important thing. This is why the brother says to you, me and you and others will not be judged on how rich the colour or culture, but what's the purity of your heart. You know, you know, sir, I, I, I'm actually, I, the, the, the thing I'm about to do, like, I'm actually trying to work on, um, I have a big venture coming into play next year, hopefully, right? And I actually want to help a lot of poor people, yeah, because, you know, people, some people are, for me, on, on this planet, forgiven. Yeah, they're givers, and then you have the takers. The, the, the selfish, self-centered, you know what I mean? Don't sorry, sorry to burst your butt, brother, brother. You see all this good work you're going to do? Uh -huh. If you haven't accepted Islam and become a Muslim, it comes for nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Although it's important what you're saying, because yeah. it moulds yourself into that good human being yeah. that you want to do, which is what Islam invites you to do. So be a giver, not a taker. Yes, of course. And then, but acknowledge your creator. Simul together. So if you acknowledge your creator, become Muslim and do what you want to do. Help the poor. Help the poor. The same way your son will show gratitude to you for the sacrifice you made, the person that gave you life, you shouldn't be ungrateful. You should be grateful to him. Grateful to him. That's like I said, he gave you two nice eyes. He's the ultimate gratitude. You see, when you're grateful, you see, you're married or you just got a partner. Oh, no, no, no. If you had your mom, are you going to buy your mother a present that you like or what she likes? How are you going to know what she likes? I'll ask her. Right. So God has to explain to you the best way to worship Him. Not how you like. So we have the revelation that God explained to us how we're supposed to pray. How we're supposed to show gratitude. You'll find all the Muslims. We're united. How we worship Allah. Ask Him. 
I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you take him aside. Ask him what's his purpose. If you ask me, we all have the same purpose. Chance I need to stop it there. That's okay, bro. It's I, nice talking to you. Very gentleman, you are. Thank you. I will definitely have a read, gentleman. Nice talking to you, you. gentleman. Inspire, inspire, inspiration. You know, what, you know what you could do afterwards as a source of some in entertainment. We're recording this, right. so you can watch it back on YouTube today if you want to. Oh, yeah. Whenever they upload it, um, Sam Dawa. Sam Dawa. You want to you 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 subscribe to their channels? Go ahead. So you can watch something, yo. Gonna make you fear my sir. <laughs> Nobody's saying it as a joke. Yeah. You see the way you've conducted yourself. Yeah. It's beautiful. Because you see, a, a lot of us get a lot of bad man because we're emotional and can't get along. You've yeah. used your intelligence, you've yeah. used your reasoning, you've been more than reasonable. You don't have to ask the question just to, just to get a, an insight. If you don't ask, you won't know. You know. Yes. So this shows you're an open person. Open person, it makes sense. The key words, yeah. it makes sense. Are you on YouTube? Oh, I do, yeah, yeah, YouTube. That's it. Type in, in the search bar, Sam, S-A-M, new word, Dawa, D-A-W-A-H. Yeah, top one. Subscribe to that one, he will upload it when he's just, just, just subscribe to the channel. Yeah, so this is it. That when, one. When you go here, oh, subscribe. So yeah. when you go here, and then later, yeah. When he uploads it. Okay. Then you go to videos and then when it unloads, you'll see you it. you get a notification. Another one yeah. called, he, he does it very quick. It's called Dawa to Soul. Dawa, to, you do that one as well. That, he, 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 he does it very fast. Go over there, nice speaker nice. Okay, yeah. you take care. Thank you. Yes. Nice one. All right, let's type that other one in as well. I don't use YouTube that often. <laughs> That's his channel. Oh, okay. So sub uh, you'll subscribe to that. Excellent. So what happens when he uploads it, you get a notification. Awesome. And whenever he does that, you, you can review our discussion, consider yeah. what we've said. And we're here every week. If you come back in a month's time, we'll still be in the same place. Yeah, delighted to speak to you. You bless yourself. You take care. Delightful conversation with our friend over here, giving dawah from um, the brother as well and from myself. It was, you could see that it was making sense and it was really resonating with him. May Allah guide him, inshallah, and guide us all. Assalamu alaikum.